morning folks, welcome to another episode. This morning I've come down to the river, um, which I haven't been in for quite a while to be fair, since last year. So I've been too busy with the sea fish and stuff, so to have this as like, sort of like a wintry sort of like getaway uh, from the sea fishing is really nice. And as you can see by the surrounding areas, it's so peaceful and quiet. Uh, so we're fishing for pike today, we're using floats. Uh, we've got a whole host of different baits that we're going to try. Um, like I said, we're just going to give it a go and see how we get on. Okay, right, so all the items we need are there ready to go in case the inevitable happens. So we've got the net over there and then we've got the landing mat there with all the tools and bits and pieces that we need to safely unhook the pike. Okay, right, so just to show you then, we're just using a really simple uh, float system. So we've got a stop knot at the top or a buffer bead. Uh, we're using a Fox Predator 35 gram float there, running down to our quick change lead, which is there, and then to our wire trace with our bait on with two trebles there. So today we're using lamprey uh, as the first bait. Right guys, so baits wise today we predominantly got we've got one lamprey left, which is there. Oozing with blood, really nice bait. And then we got some smelt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whack a smelt on. Top hook right next to the top of the tail. Push that into the bone, and then the second hook down. Pull it tight, straight in, which is there. I'm gonna cast it out now. Right, so I was having no luck in the first spot. I threw three or four baits um, around different kind of areas that I thought would be good, uh, and I also drifted some baits around as well in between the two trees that we were at. Uh, to no luck I'm afraid. So I've moved to this spot here, which is quite a nice nice spot there. Uh, the rod's just there uh, on the rest and the first bait is over there in between these two trees. There's a lot of bait fish moving about in the water which is a good sign. Um, like I said I'm no expert at pike, pike fishing or dead baiting for pike. It's just something that I thought I'd give a go. Um, so like I said something a bit different from the sea fishing to be fair. Um, I don't get me wrong, I do love to sea fishing, but I need something to break it up a little bit. And uh, this is really relaxing and calming, and uh, I'd say just a completely different ball game. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get one today. Uh, we'll just keep moving, and hopefully we'll be able to find some fish. Right, I guess nothing happened in the, in the last spot. I threw again three or four baits around, um, and now we moved to another location. So moved a little bit further up. This is a bit wider, this part of the river here. I've uh, got a nice little branch sticking out there and a lot of overgrown bits at the back so the idea is we're going to throw the uh, float close to the obstruction down here and across the back over here. Uh, first bait going in is a lamprey which is a Right, the rod I've been using today then is the Rigged and Ready Travel Rod. Uh, this one is the Smuggler Max, and I'm going to be using it in the next couple of videos. We'll take it to the beach and give it a full test. Uh, seven piece travel rod, I believe. And it all fits. All fits in this tube here. Absolutely crazy. Check them out, Rigged and Ready. Do some absolutely awesome travel bits um, if you're looking for that kind of fishing gear. Right now, folks, so unfortunately we've had no fish today. What a bummer. But you know, it's been nice to be out. I've definitely cleansed the soul this morning, shared my morning with a, a shed load of sheep, and we've got cows on the other side of the bank. So yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been, <laughs> it's been a weird and wonderful uh, morning. Uh, now I'm gonna go back to real life and reality um, and do some adult bits and pieces. But yeah, a uh, bit different to the sea fishing. Uh, we'll give it a couple more goes this winter and uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch a pike. If you've got any tips or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.